Time now for Titans tape. And this is going to be one of Calvin Ridley's 10 catches in the game in the Motor City. The longest went for 47 yards. It was a thing of beauty. Brian, if you would, show us how the play unfolded. Yeah, so this is a very a pretty basic concept for the most part. But what really makes this play is, is we put Calvin uh, inside in the slot and Tyler Boyd outside. Uh, but with this motion, this is a, a, a timely uh, motion where he's moving full speed at the snap. And so really what ends up happening is on the snap, they switch spots. But what that does is it allows us uh, to get Calvin matched up in this. They play this man coverage where they drop this safety in the play. We call it lurk coverage, but it's a single high man. But it allows us to get Calvin matched up on a mismatch there, which is I mean, obviously their nickel. And so we were trying to get this matchup, and the route is is pretty simple when you, when you look at the whole picture. But just take a look at the motion first. All right, so now they lock the players when they go in motion, and this is just a simple sail concept that we call it. Uh, it's pretty generic in terms of the 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 name of the of the play. But Calvin's on this on this route that we call a blazer, and he runs this thing right down the numbers, and the quarterback has the ability to bleed him inside. It's sort of like a very skinny post route. Tyler's on his motion now running what we call a sail route uh, to the to the sideline. We have a little bit of edge help on the right side. He's in the flat. We have chip help by the back. He sits here and then on the back side we have a in cut uh, that just kind of completes it. So it's sort of a one, two, three read to the back side with great help. First things first, great protection. There is nobody near Mason. He throws this ball with great timing and anticipation off of uh, one hitch and puts it right in stride. Doesn't even have to move. Uh, ball is completed right in front of him, and it's uh, an explosive play for us and a really nice job. So you just look here at the protection as well, and you look at Mason's timing. One hitch and the ball is up. And when we talk about a hitch, you just see this quick bounce he takes, and the ball is gone, and it's perfectly placed right down the numbers, uh, right in stride to Calvin as we get the mismatch on the nickel with Calvin inside. Am I correct in saying that Tyler Boyd is really open on this too, if he had chosen him? There's no question. They're both, they are both uh, equally open. Uh, you can see here from the, from the wide view, uh, as you see Tyler break, break leverage uh, versus this man coverage right here on the sail route. And he gets a chance there. That ball was in the air. That's certainly an open route in the NFL. But Calvin was too too uh, too open to pass up. And and again, these what ends up happening here is the safety's on this backside hash, and this one's dropping in inside. And so now that provides us a a window away from this backside safety to complete that ball down the field. So, so it's a it's a safe throw too. An inc incredibly safe throw, which is mm -hmm. uh, not always the case when you're throwing the ball down the field versus single high. But um, that that's what ended up happening. And again, Mason. Calm, poised, easy delivery, um, really accurate throw. For somebody like me who doesn't know anything about it, it would feel like if Calvin Ridley starts getting hit with deep balls, if you start getting the ball down the field to him, that would feel like it's going to help your entire passing game in terms of teams not being able to bunch up as much. Yeah, it's, it's, part, of, it's part of how offense works. If we can find ways to get down the field and create explosives, which I think we had, Eight explosives in the game. Uh, that's, well, I think that's the most we've had this year so far against a really good contending style defense. Uh, it's going to allow people to see that we have the ability to threaten down the field and, and hopefully open up some more of the things uh, underneath and, and in the space of the middle of the field as we threaten the, the defense vertically. Were you pleased overall with your pass protection on the day? I was. I thought, I thought pass protection looked, looked like this for most. Now we got help on both sides here. Um, but again, the, the pocket is firm. Um, you know, that, that's... That's good football. If we if it looks like this, uh, we got guys winning, anchoring, and we got we got everybody accounted for, and there's nobody in the quarterback's lap uh, allows us to make these throws down the field.